from New Homes Historian and Emma and we are at a new development by a Barrett Homes called Bowbrook Meadows in Shrewsbury in Shropshire. This is part of our um, Shrewsbury special um, on, on new homes and we're at the Barrett development and we're going to take a look at some of the show homes. So we're going to go, um, we've got this lovely show village to look around and we're going to the biggest house now um, and what's it called Emma? It is that one, the, the Alnwick. Alnwick. Yeah, Alnwick. 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 Okay. You just want to swing around though, because oh, you can't see it from here. We'd have been, we'll have a look at that on the way back. Okay. Some of these other houses on the other side of the road. Okay. The landscaping is, is, is pretty pretty good, isn't it, it's, on here? It's absolutely fantastic, yeah. And you can so, see that they've been out and actually watered all the plants today. Yeah. It's a very tidy you can see lovely. You can see there the quality of that, the, the, the landscaping. So, how, how many bedrooms is this? The Annick is a four bed detached. Okay, yep, so what we've got, a four bed detached. Four bed detached. It's very... You can see from the side, it's actually got a, con a conservatory breakfast room type thing. Yeah, it's built on, isn't it? Yeah. So this is the the arm with this four bedroom detached, isn't it? Well, you can oh, see the detailing yeah. on it, can't you? From you can see some of the detailing on Beautiful it. Frontage, really you can see there the big Bowbrook Meadows um, logo there. Well, let's, without further ado, let's go in and take a look. So it's double fronted, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So we're into the uh, into the entrance hall, yeah. and whoa. Oh, that's a nice smell to it, isn't it? Isn't it okay, then. So, should we go off to the left first? Yeah. Beautifully light and bright. So this oh, is stunning. the lounge yep. onto the dining room here. Lovely. Love the shoes, the references with the pictures of the castle. Really good size lounge, very light. Let's just see what it's like without the, uh, the lights on. Very nice bay window there yeah. at the front. Beautifully decorated, it really is. I like the uh, recessed lighting as well as the pendant yeah. lighting. Yeah, it's got the addition, doesn't it? So you've got double doors here. In fact, they're bifolds. Look. Wow. Yeah, they are nice, aren't Very they? Nice. Okay, so we've got this sort and of, this it's like a Vic, uh, Victorian conservatory. What do they call these? Oranges? Yeah. Are they? Yeah. Lovely, isn't it? Reset lovely into there. Lovely curtain, floor, ceiling floor. And take you right up into there. Really nice space. It is, isn't it? Really nice. And this is a, would you say that's dre... I bet you could use it's it. A, you could use it as a dining room. Yeah. Or, I mean, they've got it as a bit of a conservatory with some. But here we've we've got a lovely little breakfast table. Yeah. And then we're into the kitchen, another little seating area you there. Could, potentially, you could put a table and chairs anywhere in here. Yeah. You can have one here, there, over there. You've got room for a sofa, kids, toys. I mean, they've got a TV here, look, with a big plant in front of it. <laughs> Move that plant. Yeah. <laughs> That plant could just, well, where could it go? But you've got a lot of space. Oh, we don't need it. In here. Yep, very, so this is the kitchen, spacious. done in a nice sort of granite workshop with a sort of lovely green. Yeah, it's really grey, isn't it? A sage coloured yeah. kitchen. I like it. It's very, very nice. All the usual appliances. You've got your dishwash there. Plenty of cupboard space. Let's do a key level and look under the sink. There you go. Fridge freezer, oh nice um, wine cooler there, I love that, I always think that's a really nice addition. And then you've got a little... Yeah, it is, it's got, not got a door outside has it really, but that's fine isn't it? I and quite the like that. And the boiler's in there, yeah. isn't there? And you've got your washing machine, your tumble dryer, etc. You you no one? sink. No. No you sink, but I suppose you've got one there haven't you really, the one behind you, yeah. the kitchen sink. Do you know, I like this, the way that they've actually... Put the granite into the uh, windowsills, into yeah. the returns. You've got them in there as well. It gives a very plush, very sleek look about it, doesn't it? Very nice. Isn't it handy? Look, so they've put cupboards in, in every little space. Yeah. I like the big pegs as well. Look at those. Okay. Very nice. Okay, that's yeah. good. What a lovely kitchen. I like it. Really nice space. Okay, 
the back into the hall. Quali very good quality doors yeah, as well, haven't they? Downstairs loo. Yep, so we're in the downstairs loo. And as you can see, very, 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 very good quality. Very nice. Okay, okay so, and off the hall again, we've got yeah, this study. Yeah, this is, little, this is just, just the right size, isn't it? I suppose you could use it as a bedroom if you needed to. Yeah, that's it. It's that bedroom. nice enough, isn't it's it? Good little yeah. space. Yeah. Wow, I didn't oh, see that. Oh, nice formal dining room, isn't it? And they've got eight chairs around this table. Yeah, it's very light, isn't it, as well? It's not a great scope for any... I mean, they've even they've got a good piece of furniture in here as well, yeah. which that could be a unit of any kind. But really it's very, like I say, it's double-fronted, so we've got that bay window pretty much the same as what we've got. We've got this yeah. um, lovely chandelier as well here. Very, very nice. Yeah. Space under the stairs. Yeah. Here. Okay, so we're now going upstairs. Okay, shall I follow you? Yes, follow me. Well, Oh, let's have a quick look while we're here. Yeah. It's yeah, see electric. I like that. Work. It's kept out of the way. Yeah. A couple of plugs in there. Coat shoes. Plus, uh, Plug the Hoover in there. Okay, so we're now upstairs. And it's the Alnwick house type. So. Okay, right. Hang on. Let me try and figure this out. Because the plan is back to front <laughs> from the show home, which they often are. I think we go this way. Okay, that's that's that room. That that's there. Okay. So I think this is bedroom one. You know, it'd be so so helpful if they could just put a little label in here, <laughs> which bedroom we're in. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is bedroom one. Okay. Yeah. Well, it looks like a master bedroom. I mean, um, judging well, from. No, the, mm, the, I don't know. It could be bedroom. Both. Both have. Right. It is actually. Hang on a sec. Let's have a little look while Emma decides what we're in. We're actually in. So, with, oh, this yeah. is very nice. Yeah, one. We've, got a we've actually got a dressing room in here. Yeah. Never seen that before in a Barrett house. Very nice indeed. Wow, this is great. This is what you want, isn't it? We don't know what that is, but yeah, it's a bit noisy. Oh, I think then there's some viewers downstairs. They'll be having a go with the bicycle doors. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you've got your lovely ensuite there. It's very nice, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know, this is something that Barrett always do, is the great big mirrors to optimise on the light and space. Nice unit as well. Yeah. So we've got ideal standard sanitary yeah. wear. Really okay, good then. Size little yeah. ensuite it is. There. This is a good size room, isn't it? Right, it's a bedroom one. Okay, so let's go to the back room now. The Which front room, room, this one, sorry. Okay, okay, so the other bedroom at the front is bedroom three. No, nice colour banding on there, something different, isn't it? The yeah, going that's across really the ceiling. Nice. Yeah. That's a really unusual thing to do. I've not seen that before. Very nice light. Yeah. So, large band of uh, fitted wardrobes, yeah? With with clothing. Yeah, somebody that obviously likes yeah, the and, and, and likes the both the same type of yeah, the, the type, the same very same. nice. Both the same size, I should imagine. And let's look in this one too. Um, yes, it's, it's the same type. I like the Chanel cushion there in the middle. I yeah, like this is a bit like, oh. like, this is a little bit like our bed at home. All these cushions, now most men who are watching this will probably think, why do you need all them cushions for? You only throw them off after. So, where, you know, I don't know. If you could just come round the end here, you'll see that there's another fitted wardrobe there, yeah. Ooh, packs some put size this does, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Bedroom four. No, this is boys' room. Yeah. Okay, this is sort of done in a knights and yeah. a knight sort of style, which is very, uh, very apt, very apt for Shrewsbury, isn't it? You've got a fitted wardrobe there, behind the door. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah, it's a good little room, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. So, at the back, you've got bedroom two. Okay, then, so, yeah. So, I would say, this sort of of a guest bedroom sort of size, isn't it? Look at the picture behind you. Oh, let me have a look. Yes. Now, that's actually taken from the very bottom end of St John's Hill, um, which is where it comes from town walls. 
Looking at the market. And we've got these lovely doors as a, as a sort of Louvre. backdrop. Louvre. Louvre. Oh, I tell you what, I'm terrible. I should Louvre just be doors. quiet. Yeah, and Shrewsbury Castle. Lovely. Yeah. Isn't it nice? It is. Yeah. It's actually, is it standalone or fitted? Fitted, isn't it? It's fitted. It's all fitted. Yeah. Yeah, it is nice. I like the chair. We've got two of these, um, two of those there, haven't we? In one room. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, this house goes on. Main family bathroom. Yep, yeah, really good oh, size. Really spacious, yeah, it is. It's a good size bathroom. Yeah, isn't it? it is. So there's no shower in here then? No? No, no shower. Okay. Nice. Again, the big mirror. So you've got your boiler covered, but there's also space for. That's what you need, isn't it? Other things. Get a bit that. of space it's for nice it. It's nice with the double doors. But it is, isn't that. it? Yeah. Um, That's it. No, just out of interest, the way this house lays. Yeah. They're actually. I'm trying to find a, view, a window to the back garden. There isn't actually one, is there? there apart from this one, no, because you've got the conservatory area below. Yeah. This is the only window. Yeah, a lot of the windows are to the right hand side, which obviously it's a corner plot. But I suppose, you know, it is quite looked overlooked, but well, I suppose you've got the dressing room in here. That will overlook the back. Yeah? There you go. Oh yes, that's a better view, isn't it? Yeah, so you can see. Yeah, it's really, you know. Right. Okay then. So in a way your main views are out of the front of the property and you can actually see right across the road there's the hospital. You can't go wrong with that, can you? you? Are nice right and close. Opposite the hospital there. We'll ignore the fact that there's a bonus estate across the road from there. Yeah. Um but you can see this lovely sort of green sort of corridor going in here and a little yeah. sudge drainage system just it's in there. It's actually going to be a very big development yeah. this is. And it joins up with the other end of Radbrook, which is kind of just across that field over And there. you do, you're it's not getting your development once it's finished. You're not getting your shoebox houses, you're looking at very good looking quality houses on this yeah. development yeah. Uh, across every developer. Yeah. Well, beautiful house type, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. I really like it. Yeah. The Elmwick. Well, I mean, you know, suitable for any family really. It's very, very nice. Yeah, it is very nice indeed.